So Nega is more important than uh, we even gave it credit for as a humanizer of taboo things. That already covers a vast number of topics. Think about it, all the taboo things from drugs to sex to uh, bodily functions to illnesses to religious images to uh, offensive everything. Like the idea of niggering is it's a huge territory that it can apply to, but it even covers mathematics. I'm niggering ain't, and I'm not niggering the double negative, like ain't no way, ain't no God, I say all the time. And the reason I say it is that it's okay to have a double negative, but that's a side effect of ain't being 18, because I'm niggering ain't an 18, because niggering is changing, but it's also renewing. It's taking something and ending it, killing it, and then forcing it to come back as a tiny little baby. Just a restart button. Nigger is the restart button on everything cultural. And so nigger your N-words, but also nigger everything. I mean, honestly, what do we want to keep? So that's why I talk about new America, because I think old, all of old America sucks. Um, I wish I could nigger YouTube and TikTok so that I could make TikTok longer and YouTube shorter, because somewhere in the middle, I think I have a voice. Because shit in a bucket, I want you on TikTok so that I don't feel guilty about spending all my time on it. It's become my primary. Oh my God, there is no God. Ain't no God. What? 18 gods? No. But if there were 18 gods, Thor, Zeus, Amit, uh, Yahweh, I don't know, okay. Um. Iron Man, really? Those are the modern gods. Freaking Hulk, and uh, these, I mean, that's why they're so lame, but superhero movies are essentially the modern gods. Gods were just like stories to tell around a fire. And then, God, the Middle Ages just fucked everything up and killed everyone over it and made this concept of prayer like into a staple for people that speak English, and it's just annoying, and that's just a bunch of nonsense that I just spouted off at you. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just talking, man. I feel so weird about the N-word on TikTok. I feel so vulnerable because I don't want to make it into a joke that leaves people behind. Like, I'm serious about it. And yet, serious doesn't fly on TikTok. There's not enough time or attention or seriousness at all from these people. And when it is serious, it's all, of course, Victorian and backwards and conservative and anti-everything good. Or it's anti-white. I hate that that's true, but the N-word somewhat is anti-white. But I don't want to complain about anti-whiteness. I don't even think about it like that. But like, it is the one thing where it's like, black people can do violence and white people should be ashamed. And so when you realize, wait, I'm a white nigger, shouldn't I be allowed to say it? Because I've been niggerized and niggerization is oppression, but also nigger rights are a little different than human rights. And it's time to like, let me say it. Like saying a word, isn't that one of my nigger rights to say a word? Still up for grabs. Still a question. Which side will win? I think ours will. I think it's I think it's destiny.